All right, we just woke up. It's time to do our second fire cape for uh, some more points. Got to take a hit for points and not die, and also get the second cape to exchange for access to Inferno for more points. Also, a lot of FKing done last night. Base 70 combat now, so we can actually wear, uh, wear my barrel's legs. It's going to be really nice. So today's episode is all about PVMing my way to the fifth tier relic and we have a lot of good challenges coming up uh, a bunch of bosses that if i can do it at a certain time and certain challenge i can get a lot of points so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hit up some gauntlets a little bit of zolra and some jad so the fifth tier relic passive is a three times increase in drop rate for unique items so things like the Blade of Saldor will actually be three times more common than what it normally is. So it'd be a 1 in 133 instead of 1 in 400. That's massive. Okay, let's go. Oh, I got lucky. Nice. Oh, I think I did time it properly, but it didn't matter anyways because it decided not to one-shot me. So lucky me. Feels good, man. All right, we got it. Ooh, nice. I'm 85 Slayer, too. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely gonna actually do the Inferno at some point. Preferably after Tier 6, you know, Relic. But yeah, we're gonna sacrifice this for now. Because, you know why? It's 250 points, dude. Look at this. Fat points. God dang. 250 points. Okay, so we only need 1.2k. Uh, I'm gonna do some Gauntlet now and uh, get some more points from Gauntlet. We're gonna try to get... This one done, the regular gauntlet in 5 minutes. I think there's one for 8 minutes. This one done. And we'll try and get the other one done. Complete corrupted in 7 minutes. I'm already pretty close to this one, so... We want to get that one too. This one is a, is a beast of a challenge. That would be for like, I don't know. When I, when I max stats, maybe. Well, that should be one task completed. <clears throat> Oh, wow. First try, 528. God dang it. That was a really... Okay, it's actually really easy to get the 5-minute one for regular gauntlet then. Okay, let's try to get the next one, but we need to find food earlier next time. So for the sub 5-minute gauntlet, the speedrun strategy is actually very gun-ho. You're basically going nude. You don't need to look for armor, and you're basically just going to look for your main weapon according to your relic. So I'm looking for Dark Beast. And that's all I have to find. I just gotta make sure I find Dark Beast super early at the start. And if I don't find it, it's a reset. But if I do find it, the rest is basically just finding like maybe 10 pieces of food. And yeah, just go right into the boss and do 5 to 1 strategy. And it just comes down to mechanics of how good you can DPS the boss. Nice. Okay, I definitely beat it. That was super fast. Oh, okay, 409. All right, that was easy. 250 points. Worth it. Let's go. Easy. Give me that. All right, how many, uh, what are we at now? Oh, that was nice. Okay, 250 points for that. Okay, okay, okay. Six, six, five, seventy points. 930 more points. Okay, we got one more. It, this one, I think, is going to be way harder, though, because it's, gonna, it's um, 730 on Corrupted, so where the boss just shits on you. So yeah, we gotta be careful. This one's gonna require a bit more RNG. But yeah, let's go. For the sub seven minute Corrupted Gauntlet challenge, I had to modify my strategy a little bit. So food is going to be reduced significantly. I'm basically going in with like 12 to 16 food rather than 20 plus. And also I need to find a dark beast on my first scout. If I don't find it, I have to just reset because, yes, I'm only going to rely on the bow for the most part to kill a boss because of 5 to 1 method. Ah, oh, shit. Whatever, let's just go in. <laughs> YOLO. Okay, 4 minutes. Shit, no! Oh, I would have had it. Misclicks. And I don't think I had enough food though. God damn it, dude. One misclick. Oh. Ah, fuck. Great. I made the wrong thing. Uh, whatever, whatever. We're still gonna go for it. Damn it. Ah, I made the wrong armor, but I should hopefully be fine. Oh, 
Woof, that was freaking close. Yes, let's go. 616. Oh my god. That was that was fucking stressful, but we did it. Woohoo! That was a very fast fight. Oh my god. Okay. Well the five minute one's gonna be really hard. Cause that means we need to not make armor. But yeah, I'll wait till 99. Range on that one. Oh shit, that was scary. Okay, cool. We got another fat points for that. Alright guys, we're gonna hit up Zara real quick because there's 200 free points. Pretty much. Well, potentially, because there is the Feet Zora 130, and of course, one for just defeating Zora. Uh, right here at 100, so that's a quick 200 points. We're going to put the Crystal Ball to the test. I'll give you a sneak peek. And uh, I'm going to be looking for the Blue Rotation. So if I don't get the Blue Rotation, I'm just going to log off. It's a really good trick that everybody should learn, honestly. A little inaccurate. That's why we are going to go for the Blue Face, I think. Holy shit, though. It's insane. Alright, let's log out. As you can see, I, I just logged out. Oh, God. I keep... I keep uh, getting melee, bro. Come on. Give me something better, please. Oh, there we go. We got it. Yeah, you can also switch worlds, too, but... Some people... I reckon it's probably a little sketchy to try to switch worlds. Logging out is more direct. Nice. We got ourselves the mage phase. This is going to go by really fast. As you can see, I've already uh, pretty much done some insane damage. Like, holy crap. That was some crazy damage. Hey, blue phase. Even on the green, it's fine. Nice. We did it. Wait. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we didn't do it. Feels bad, man. Getting 130 is actually not not gonna be easy, huh? Oh, oh my God! Lucky, lucky. This is so good. Holy shit! We got blue, and we down it 130 uh, health at the start. No, I don't get it. I didn't get it. Dang it! I would have had it. So I'm out of supplies, so I can't keep going at Zora at the moment. But we'll definitely come back. When we do have more supplies for the 130. But yeah, we're almost there to the 5th Relic. Just need a few more points. And yeah, I'm just going to work on a few more tasks and some important quests. And I'm going to get a few points through some quests. That is really important that I should do. A taste of hope, I got to get this one done. I should have gotten it done immediately. Because um, this is basically the best way to bank for me. Alright, it's time for the fights. I hope my gear is good enough. I have uh, my Vrax skirt, so our defenses are pretty nice, 260, Ring of Recoil might help, I don't know if it does, but yeah, let's go and do this fight, come on, come on, man, I got this in the back, I just need to hit, I just need to hit once, please, come on, yes, okay, that was actually a lot more challenging than I was expecting. Alright, I think the Varric Skirt came in handy, honestly. Rune Armor was just not cutting it, but... Yay! Hell yeah, dude. Dragon's Medallion. Best in slot banking for me, pretty much. Hell yeah. No need to use a rune either. And no more 30 second cooldown on teleports. Alrighty. Yes, Ectophio is mine... Hell yeah, dude. Just teleport here to the fairy ring and to the farming patch as well. Oh, now we can uh, do some nice... We're going to do one more quest for tonight. And then that is going to be Taibo Wanai. I need to get into Jody Pot for this quest. And luckily, there's a skeleton right there that uh, has a chance to drop the Jody Pot at like a 1 in, one in 25. So, Oh, wait, there's two skeletons here. There's a bunch of them. Awesome. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's get some uh, Jody Pots. Oh, I got it. Yay. <laughs> yes, finally, Tybo wanted trio. Done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I can actually fish Carambons. It's going to be so nice. Struggling with food right now because I can't fish sharks because no harpoons for the regions I'm picking. But hey, I got Carambons, which is honestly better in most situations. If you don't mind, I'm just going to complete this task real quick. 
And I'm going to go ahead and complete uh, this task as well. So let's freaking complete that too. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, it hit me too. Come on. Yeah, all these kids got wrecked. Uh, dude. Yes, defeat Solcano for 100 points. Let's go. Dude, this is crazy. I don't even know when I got 80 Hunter. It's just like, I, I already have, have it apparently. Wow, now I'm 81. <laughs> so, looks like I can passively start catching Crystal Imps. I'm probably going to go a bit harder once I actually have a blowpipe. But, yeah, it's nice to have that early and ready for them darts. Dude, Crystal freaking Imp. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. First crystal imp. Come on. Yes. Oh my god, that's 100 points. Oh, rune darts. Let's go, man. Nice, yo. I need some of these for uh, the eventual blowpipe. Oh, let's go. First one. First one, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I should always have this with me. Just in case if I see another one, honestly. My god. All right, my boy, Bond scouted one. Here we go. Oh, dude, I got dart tips. Oh, nice, nice. Those are good. I can actually not ruin dart tips. Those are good. Oh, 90 range. There we go. That's it. I was going to kill uh, gargoyles for the 7,500 points, but 90 range is going to do it as well. Hell yeah, boys. Time to unlock our fifth relic. All right, so this one is weird. I originally was going to go for botanist because I really value... I'm pretty biased when it comes to potion making. You know, PTSD from older older Iron Man struggles. Uh, but I decided I think I'm going to go for Equilibrium because in order to reach tier 6, I need to double my points. And yeah, it's going to take a while to get to the tier 6. So I'm going to go Equilibrium because I can actually level up my stats faster, which means more points. Which means, uh, yeah, I reach tier 6 faster, which means I can do other bosses faster, like Inferno and stuff. So yeah, we're going to go with Equilibrium. I, I just don't think this is that big of a deal. My combat relics are so strong anyways that I can also make Divine Pots anyways because of Elf City. So Bondness is less useful for me. So yeah, we're going to go Equilibrium, man. Let's go with it. Let's send it. Nice. 3x common rares. So yeah, we're going to go to Gauntlet now, and I think I'm going to go Gauntlet for a bit, try to get my Blade of Souther. It's only a 1 in 133 now from the Corrupted. And also, if I can complete the Armor Seeds out of 1 in 17, so so yeah, that's really good odds now. It's, I think it's worth it. I mean, the next Relic is just, you know, stronger DPS stuff, but I don't really need it for Gauntlet. So, so yeah, uh, we can slow down a bit from Tier 5-6 for now. And try to get some new gear, you know? The Blade of Saldor would help a lot for like TOB and stuff, so. Oh my god, dude. Equilibrium is so good at the gauntlet. Like, no joke. Because these, like, these XP drops are normally kind of low. Even for Trailblazer standards, but. But like, every little thing that I do, from like a fish to like a, you know, a ore to a cotton. I still get a bonus like 100 plus XP. <laughs> Yo, it's like so freaking nice, dude. I'm digging that, man. This That is so nice. Yo, check this out. I'm about to cook some food and it's super fast normally. Look at that. Oh my god. I love it, man. This is, uh, this is great. Hell yeah, dude. Damn, just anything I do pretty much, I'll get some crazy bonus XP back. It's like cash back, you know? With like your credit card and stuff, Kappa. Except you don't go in debt later on. I need them trees. Oh, I just gained another smithing level. Hashtag equilibrium in effect. Very nice. I can just train all my stats here. And it's still pretty worth. Equilibrium also gives a crazy amount of XP if you are doing combat with a style that gives shared XP. So at the gauntlet, I can actually go on long range on the staff and barely lose any DPS because the attack speed is the same and the max is the same. Except I proc the magic experience drop and I proc the defensive experience drop. So that means I get an extra like 100 
40 XP for an additional XP drop that I get. And with the whip too, it's also insane. Anything with control, you get three times the bonus XP from equilibrium. It's nuts. But yeah, today's session at the gauntlet is not bad at all. I still made like two mil and uh, most, uh, I'd say at least 70% of this is actually GP. In the next video, definitely expect drops. Probably won't upload until we get some drops. I trust in the tier 5 3x drop chance increase. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have... Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.